Before Indiana Fever rookie phenom Caitlin Clark even stepped on a WNBA court, Phoenix Mercury star Diana Taurasi sent a warning to her. Reality is coming. Taurasi, one of the greatest players in WNBA history, made it very clear that she didn't think Clark would immediately thrive in the pros. At least that's what she suggested during her interview with ESPN's Scott Van Pelt. The reality is coming. Okay. <laughs> you know, there's there's <laughs> levels to this thing, and that's just life. We all went through it. Of course. Um, and you see it on the NBA side, and you're going to see it on this side, where, you know, they, you look superhuman playing against 18-year-olds, but you're going to come with some grown women that have been playing professional basketball for a long time. Not saying that it's not going to translate, because when you're great at what you do, you're just going to get better. But there is going to be a transition period where you're going to have to give yourself some grace as a rookie. And, uh, you know, it might take a little bit longer for some people. Clark never fired back at Tarasi. Instead, she allowed her game on the hardwood to do the talking. Everyone in the WNBA knows how Diana Tarasi is. The 42-year-old is not only known for her longevity and elite play in 20 seasons, but also for being tough on younger players. But what players around the league know her most for is her trash talking, something that she does to anyone and everyone. In their last game, it was the turn of Indiana Fever rookie Caitlin Clark. A clipping from the game between the Phoenix Mercury and the Indiana Fever shows the interaction between the two. Although it's unclear what the 42-year-old mouthed in Clark's direction, the rookie's response sounded like she was saying, I don't give a f Hearing this go down, Tarasi's teammate Kalia Copper broke into a bout of laughter, as she probably understood all too well that Clark is not the one to back down. Caitlin Clark might be a rookie, but stories of her trash talk are already famous around the league. Las Vegas Aces head coach Becky Hammond talked about how much Clark talks while on the floor, whereas her trash talk has sometimes been the instigator of some heated altercations. To many, it would seem as if Clark was just responding to Diana Taurasi, but no one knows what actually went on between them. Maybe Copper knows, which is why she laughed. That laughter, though, suggests that the trash talk was not an indication of animosity between Taurasi and Clark. On Friday night, Clark had 29 points and 10 assists in a win over Phoenix. The Fever are now 3-0 in games against the Mercury this season. We also can't forget that Clark helped Team WNBA defeat Team USA in this year's All-Star Game. So, she's essentially 4-0 against Tarazi this year. Although it's highly unlikely Clark will take a victory lap, her supporters seem to be very happy that Tarazi's blunt message for her has aged terribly. Caitlin Clark spent some time over her Olympic break in the weight room, putting on some muscle to better prepare for the back half of the WNBA calendar. Clark took it upon herself to not just rest up, but bulk up, after she put on a bit of muscle after some strength and conditioning sessions during the Olympics. Speaking to reporters after the win over the Phoenix Mercury, Clark talked about her process over the break and how she views her strength as a part of her game. Yeah, I'm small, but like, I mean, I try to hold my own the best I can, and it's actually funny, we were, we were playing live the other day, and. I was backing down Edub, and Edub's like, man, I thought I was just going to push you out of the way, but you're a little stronger than I thought. I was like, yeah, Edub, like, don't mess with me. Like, but I don't know. I think like, I'm discreetly strong. Like, I'm never going to be the strongest person, and I mean, I, I know that. I, I try to you know put on some weight, and I've been working hard in the weight room, and obviously there's some limits to that and what I can do, obviously being in a season, but over the course of the last three weeks or so, I've... We've all been going pretty hard in the weight room. I haven't been very happy with our strength coach. No, I've been very sore, and it's been hard to shoot some days, but I think it's definitely going to help me down the stretch to have that extra little muscle. Uh, whether I actually have it or not, we don't really know. Um, but, yeah, that's definitely something I'll, I'll continue to focus on. And But more than anything, like, I never want to lose my speed. I like, I like being fast and sprinting. On the other side, Tarasi seemed to be struggling to regain her form after recently returning from the Paris game. With minimal time to readjust, she ended the game with 16 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, and 3 turnovers. Adding to her frustration, she was hit with a technical foul early in the game after a dispute with officials over a call against Brittany Griner. The win was particularly satisfying for Clark, especially in light of a social media jab from the Mercury's team just days before the game. The team had posted a video of a young fan holding a sign saying, Who is Caitlin? I'm here for Tarasi along with clips of Tarasi making impressive three-pointers. Clark's rapid impact in the WNBA contrasts sharply with Tarasi's earlier predictions of a tough transition for rookies like her. Diana Tarasi has been critical of Clark since the rookie's debut. Notably, she even received backlash for criticisms as well. And reacting to it, she said, 
the new fans are really sensitive these days. You can't say anything. Uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of like when you go from kindergarten or first grade, there's a learning adjustment. When you go from high school to college, there's a learning adjustment. You know, I, I, I don't think I said anything that wasn't factually correct. And like anything, greatness is going to translate. And uh, she's proven that in every level. And I don't see it being any different in the WBA. The fans' uproar came in right after she said, reality is coming and expected the NCAA sensation to struggle in the WNBA. While the opposite occurred, Tarasi didn't really have anything more to say. However, the five-time Olympic gold medalist indirectly picked on the rookie once again after her Olympic snub. The game of basketball is all about evolving. Um, it's all about getting comfortable with your surroundings. And, you know, college basketball is much different than the WNBA than it is right. overseas. It, it, Nevertheless, Clark, unfazed by the noise surrounding the snub, dropped an inspiring statement. Ahead of the tournament, she said, I'm excited for the girls that are on the team. Um, I know it's the most competitive team in the world, and I know it could have gone either way of me being on the team, me not being on the team. So, um, you know, I'm excited for them. Um, I'm going to be rooting them on to, to win gold. Um, I, was a, I was a kid that grew up uh, watching the Olympics. So, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun to watch them. Honestly, no disappointment. Like, I think it just gives you something something to work for. Um, you know, it's a dream. You know, hopefully one day I can be there. And uh, I think it's just a little more motivation. Uh, you, know, you remember that. And In her rookie season, Clark has averaged 17.1 points per game with an impressive 8.2 assists per game, a marking as a true traditional guard. In the years to come, the WNBA world is truly up for a lot of marvels. Before the start of the season, Tarasi was thought to be jealous of the rookie. However, in their three meetings so far, it has proven otherwise. Diana has nothing but love for the superstar rookie who has made her play on the court live up to the hype. Phoenix Mercury teammates Sophie Cunningham and Natasha Cloud showed their appreciation after the game. It seems that after the initial hate-based stories running around in the WNBA, the tide is slowly shifting. Not only have they understood that Caitlin Clark's impact is helping the league, but her play is superlative enough to draw respect. From the very first meeting back in July, Diana Taurasi was completely impressed by Clark. She even praised her in the post-game presser, mentioning how she has achieved so much in her short WNBA career already. In the second game, Taurasi was out due to injury. And in Friday's win, she once again saw the power that the guard delivers. In fact, towards the end of the fourth quarter, the Gainbridge Fieldhouse saw Tarasi putting her arm on Clark's shoulder, knowing already that the fever would take the season series home. Surely, the league has finally realized that this one is here to stay no matter what. Probably Diana Tarasi too. While her earlier remarks will remain in the conversations for a long time, it is refreshing to see her mellow down towards the Iowa sensation. The fever don't have another chance against the Mercury on their remaining schedule. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get to see Clark and Tarasi square off in the playoffs. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the freshest news from NBA and WNBA basketball. See you next time.